Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. My name is Megan and I am the Crafty Quinn. And I am so excited for the video that I have for you today because it is a collab with my good friend Wendy from Wendy's Creative DIYs. And today we have some Easter DIYs for you. So let's jump right in. So I'm using a lot of these plain wood signs today. I'm just excited to be able to show you different ways to use these. I've just kind of been sitting on them for a while because I've been trying to find ways to use them. So first, I'm going to make sure to highlight the grain of the, I guess, wood or faux wood of this sign. I'm not really sure. I mean, it, I guess it's technically MDF, but it has some wood grain in it, and I really want to highlight this using some antique wax. So I'm actually using a stencil brush. I love to use this brush. It's just kind of my antique wax brush, but I love to just gently brush over it. And then it almost kind of gave it a bit of a, um, almost like a silvery kind of brown look. Next, I'm taking these bunnies, and these are from Dollar Tree's Easter Garlands. So I found a pack of ones that were all buffalo check and gingham, and so there's six in a pack, and I put, I stacked three on top of each other for this sign. And literally, you just have to hot glue them together, and that's it. And then you just want to hot glue it down to the sign, and there's not really much more to it. I have a bunch of easy DIYs for you today. I tried to make them easy, I tried to make them just a few less steps than usual. So I'm actually taking some burlap ribbon right now. I cut off the ends of those just to kind of, I don't know, accentuate the ends a little bit more, but I thought it'd be a fun way to do the bow like this. So I am cinching the middle of this with some twine first, and that's how I like to place down my bow. Next, I'm gonna take some green raffia that I got from Dollar Tree. Everything that you see here, except for that Happy Easter wood cutout, is all from Dollar Tree. So I like to wrap this around four fingers, just double it up as much as you can, and then I like to cinch the middle of this by using a piece of the raffia itself to just kind of neatly tie everything together, and that way I don't have to use separate pieces of raffia to do that. So once it's all cleaned off, I hot glued the raffia and the ribbon together to combine them into one cute farmhouse looking bow and then I painted this happy Easter wood cut out from Hobby Lobby and I placed it right above the three bunnies and then you just want to hot glue down your ribbon and raffia 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 <laughs> whichever way you want to say it so I was trying to make sure that was kind of in middle, like line aligned with the uh, with the string, <laughs> and I love how it turned out. So like I said, today is a collab with my good friend Wendy from Wendy's Creative Space. Let me tell you a little bit about her. She has recently come back to YouTube. She was on a bit of a break, and I'm so glad that she's back because she has put out some amazing content, and now I have the pleasure of collaborating with her. So she also has an Easter video for you today. Now look at all of the amazing Easter crafts that she's put out. I am so excited to see what she's come up with for today, but she has really put out some great Easter decor already, and she is a Dollar Tree DIYer just like me, so I highly recommend you check out her channel because she has some great stuff. I have all of her stuff linked down below, including her video and her channel. So I finally found a use for these wooden fences, and um, I just decided to hot glue them together first and combine them. I was originally going to go a totally different way with this project, but I'm glad that I decided to do this instead. And I just combined them into one by hot gluing them together, as you just saw, and then I'm just gonna paint this all white. And I used a foam brush, for most of the painting on this fence, but then I needed to use a tiny skinny little brush to actually get in between the fence. As you can tell, I was going to put this bunny either on top of it or behind the fence. I <laughs> wasn't really sure what I was gonna do, but I had a couple pieces of this like little moss, of little moss sheets actually, and I just kind of cut them in half. It was, a, it was kind of double the size of what that is there, and I decided to place them as a lower level to just kind of look like grass. And so I thought it'd be fun to kind of have that all together. And then I decided to use antique wax to distress the fence. And I gotta say, I really love how the fence turned out once all of the antique wax is on it. It looks so cool, you guys. <laughs> So 
So I'm again taking my stencil brush. I prefer to use this. You can use a, like a regular kind of a chippy brush with this. I know a lot of crafters like to do it that way. I have some paint brushes linked down for you below if you want to use it. Uh, if you want to use the wax using those, I have some linked, but it really doesn't matter. <laughs> so I took three more, well the last three of the <laughs> buffalo check gingham, whatever you want to call it, bunny ribbon uh, garland, <laughs> and I just hot glued them down. And I thought about so many different ways to go with this. I mean, you can put letters, you can put words on them. There's so many different things. And then I ended up kind of liking them more just by themselves. And these are tiny little carrot wood cutouts. You've seen me use these a lot in my recent Easter videos if you've been following me for a while now. This is just what I typically like to use. I just like to use an orange folk art color and then I use moss for the stem of the carrot. So once I've done that to both, I take a, I like to take a pencil and that's how I like to draw the carrot lines on to these little wood cutouts. I, I swear I've done this like in three videos by now, but I, I just, I love doing it this way. And I think, I just like how it turns out really. So once you have all of your lines drawn on your carrots, I decided to distress these carrot pieces a little bit more and make them look a little bit more muddy like they've just been pulled out of the ground. <laughs> so I went ahead and distressed both carrots completely with the antique wax. And then all you have to do is just hot glue them down. So you can kind of have this as a standalone piece or you can turn it into a sign like I did. I mean, either way would really work, but I just love how it turned out. This is your midway reminder to subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. Please make sure to follow me on Instagram at the Crafty Quinn. And I promise I'll be on social media more, you guys. <laughs> I'm working on it, but please make sure to give this video a thumbs up. Also, it just really helps my video and it helps my channel grow when you subscribe and when you like and when you comment on my videos. It really helps me out. So I just appreciate when you guys leave amazing comments. It's I love reading them. I really try to get to as many as I can. And I really just like to write an actual response to everyone. <laughs> so sometimes if it takes me a while to, res to respond, it's just because I want to actually be able to respond and say something thoughtful. So we are already diving into this craft here. I used moss for this entire Dollar Tree wood cutout bunny. And I'm using white Waverly chalk paint on the tail and the ears of this bunny. So that looks too kind of stark white to me. <laughs> so we do fix that up later, but in the meantime, I am just sanding down this bunny because I just, I don't know, it just, the color of it ended up coming out way too dark. And I was like, what if I just sand paper <laughs> off some of this? So I'm using my finger sander. This is my handy dandy tool that I use in almost every project, I swear. <laughs> that is something that I always have linked down for you below if you're ever looking for it. Just check out my videos, I always have it linked. But I sandpapered this whole bunny and it just, it really needed it. And it just kind of helped lighten the color of the moss too. I thought about maybe dry brushing it with some, with some white chalk paint too, but I ended up liking this method a little bit more. So next I am taking this Dollar Tree white polka dot burlap ribbon <laughs> quite a mouthful there and i just cinched it in the middle and that's how i love to put my bows together i really just like to put them in the shape of an x cinch the middle with some twine and then just kind of pull it either end until it looks like a bow it's just a really easy method now that i figured out finally how to make bows <laughs> and now that i do it this way i just i don't stop and now i just I always do it this way because i just really like the way it turns out so I thought this, this ribbon was a nice finishing touch for this bunny, but we are not quite done yet because like I said, I didn't like how stark white the tail and the ears were. It just really bothered me. So I'm like, let's darken these up a bit. Let's use some antique wax and let's not, you know, cover it up, but you know, just kind of lighten it, you know, make it more rustic, I guess. And that was really all this needed to be a finished product.
So this was the end result, and I have to say, maybe this one's my favorite from today. I, I really like it. So last but not least, <laughs> and I, I don't know guys, this project, I envisioned something differently in my mind, I guess, but it didn't quite turn out the way I was hoping, so <laughs> let's see what you guys think of this. But um, this is that bunny wood cutout from, or MDF cutout from Dollar Tree. And I took some ballet slipper pink Waverly chalk paint for the feet and I just kind of drew circles in between each toe right there and then just kind of drew a bigger circle free. Like all of this, I tried to do just, you know, kind of going quickly freehand here. So it might not be perfectly even or anything, but you know, with free, any time you're just freehanding paint like that, you just kind of have to go quick and not even think about it too much because I find that I tend to mess up more if I overthink what I'm doing when I'm trying to do something freehand. And same thing when it comes to the nose. I was like, okay, I just need to just draw an upside down triangle very quickly. <laughs> And then this is not the end nose that you see actually. <laughs> so then I added this gingham ribbon and this does not have any wire edges, but this is Dollar Tree ribbon. And I love this one for crafts, the one without the wire edges because it's just so much easier to tie around things. And there's been so many different like bunnies and things where you can just like tie them around like the neck of the bunny. So it just makes it easier to do that if you're not dealing with the wires, but that's just my personal preference. <laughs> so what I did was I kind of tied a knot in the in the back of this bunny and just to kind of hold it kind of tight against it, I tied the ribbon in a knot, in a bow slash knot on the back of it and then I glued it down and that held it well. And then I started to sand off a little bit of the white paint that was on there and some of this sign was already kind of, I don't know, the white was coming off a little bit in some places. So I figured, you know what, let's just keep going with it and see how this bunny looks. So I really tried to do this throughout the rest of the bunny as best I could. I didn't really do it too much on the on the face because I couldn't <laughs> by that point, it was, it was too late. So I'm like, you know what, I'm just gonna take some of it off where I can and just see how it turns out. So, I then did ink, it, it's called Waverly ink, and that's the black paint that I used for the eyes. So you just want to take a tiny little brush and just kind of draw a couple ovals and like I said, just kind of do it quick. <laughs> and the mouth did not turn out the way I had hoped because my, my brush was a little bit too thick. So it kind of makes it look like I'm drawing like a handlebar mustache <laughs> on the bunny. I think maybe if I had just used a skinnier brush, maybe it would have been a little bit better. But anyway, I tied some wire around a paintbrush and that's how I got the, the whiskers. And that was the end result. Thank you guys so much for watching. I know today was a quick video, but make sure to check out Wendy's video as well. And make sure to keep in touch on Instagram. And if you want to check out more videos, watch them here on the left. Thanks so much, you guys. Take care.